the background. My towels are in the laundry. Um, so today I will be um, just like giving you a quick review um, on some of the primers that I have. Um, so some of these, most of them are like pore filling primers um, just because I have very big pores. Um, which apparently is due to like oiliness and age, you know, things like that. So I don't really stress about it, but I definitely like, if possible, gravitate towards like pore filling primers. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think everybody has that problem. It's kind of just like, yes, we're humans, we have pores, but um, you know, if possible, I try to <laughs> minimize them like everyone else. Um, so. Basically what I'm going to do is, is I'll show you um, the product and then I'll cut to um, a very close up photo of the primer on my face. Um, I did not show you guys these um, primers with foundation over the top, which is obviously a very important part, um, but I just wanted to at least show the immediate effect that it has on my pores, which is, again, difficult to see by one photo, but I still think it's a good um, indicator of how it works. Um, so yeah, just off the bat, what it does to my pores. Okay, just as like a forewarning, is that what it's called? I don't know. Like, just to let you know, the pictures of my pores are pretty graphic, so if you're prone to nausea, queasiness, vomiting, Please don't watch because <laughs> underneath this makeup is um, very large pores, discoloration, like veins. It's gross, but I don't know what to do about it, okay? Um, so just a warning. <laughs> Brace yourselves. And if you want to know how I cover up all that horrible like discoloration and everything like that, um, let me know because I will do like a tutorial of like my everyday makeup routine. Um, but yeah, so also, second disclaimer, PS, PS, um, what was it? Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> um, oh yeah, if you want to see like side-by-side -side comparison of the, of my pores with each of the primers, um, like next to each other and labeled, there's a link, don't worry, um, so you can click it and hopefully it will help you make a decision on what primers you want. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking if um, if I have like followers, then maybe I'll do another video of like my palette collection um, or like stuff that I've recently bought, like just makeup, beauty, everything. So if anyone is interested, which is probably going to be no one, um, let me know. I can do like any type of video. Um, yeah, so... So this one is called the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Primer for face and neck. I think they have like a whole new line. Um, I'm sure you've seen it at Target or whatever pharmacy you go to. They have this whole new line. Um, so it looks like this. And basically how these work, I have two um, that work the same way. Also the concealer, which I'm not really a fan of. It's like very, it's not my kind of concealer. It doesn't really cover that much for me. Um, I, I'm i like die hard the same concealers. Like I only use the, the It Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, I think it's like LA Girl, one of their concealers, um, like the yellow, the light yellow. And then I don't really use the shape tape that much. So I kind of just use um, Bye Bye Under Eye, I don't know. Um, and mix it with my foundation and the yellow um, concealer. So anyway, um, where was I? Was I talking about? Yes, oh yeah, so forget the concealer. Okay, so now back to the primer. Um, so how this works is you press the bottom like this. Ooh. Okay, so it comes out of this like applicator thing and it's like a typical primer consistency, like that like waxy kind of feeling. Um, yeah, and so I smoothed it on using the applicator um, and I will cut to a picture. 
Okay, so just so you're aware, on my face throughout the video, on your left side is the primer, and on the right is no primer. Okay, so the next one from that line is the Fill and Blur Primer for your forehead. So, um, yeah, you're supposed to brush the product onto your forehead lines and wrinkles and let dry. Um, so it looks like this. It's like literally a brush and it's very liquidy. So I guess you're supposed to kind of like paint it on like a patch and then let it dry, I guess. That's like the impression that I got. Mind you, I just bought these, so I haven't been able to try them under makeup, which is like super important. Um, but yeah, so I will now cut to the picture where I paint this on my cheek, not my forehead, my cheek. I wanted to see like what it does. Maybe it'll be like better for my pores. Um, so yeah, so you just paint that on. So the next one that I did was obviously the Maybelline baby skin that everyone um, has tried. Um, so yeah, I it's pretty self-explanatory. I think everybody's seen this. It's like um, just like a clear, just like a clear gel kind of thing um, that you put over your pores. Okay, so I'll cut to a picture of that. So the next one is the e.l.f. primer. I think everybody has also seen these and probably has one. There's, I think there's like a ton. There's like a green one that I have. There's like a hydrating blue one. There's tons. Um, I don't want to sound like a bitch, but I'm not really a fan of drugstore and I am kind of not into e.l.f. really. Um, but yeah, so I do have this primer. This one is the Poreless Face Primer. It fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores. Um, so yeah, this one is like, it comes out white. So it's more of like a, a cream kind of, like it still has that matte waxy feel, but it's kind of different to um, like other primers. It's more of, it's like a mix between like a, a primer and like, I don't know, like a cream, like it's more creamy. It's not as like dry. So the next one um, is the NYX, I say NYX, is it NYX or NYX? Is the NYX, this one's actually called Pore Filler. Um, this one is like, it's really gross when it comes out. Like it looks like those videos of like when people are squeezing like zits on their face and it's just like, it all comes out at once, so gross. It literally looks like that look. Ew, like it looks so gross. But yeah, so it's like um, the color is similar to the Benefit Professional. Like it's like a nude color, but this is like very dry. Um, yeah, so it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just like a typical primer, except it, it does like crumble off, you know what I mean? But like once you, once you like mix it in, it's, just like a normal primer. Um, but yeah, so that one, I'll show you a picture of. Okay, so this is one primer um, that I forgot, so I'm like inserting this in the middle. Um, it's the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer, just like the regular one. I know they have like a lot more out now. Um, this is just like a sample I received. Um, so yeah, this one is like just a clear one, you know, just like a standard primer. Like I've said a hundred times about every primer. Um, but yeah, it's just like, um, no color kind of is like the baby skin one, like a more high-end baby skin one, I guess. But yeah. 
Um, so I will cut the little picture now. Now is obviously the Benefit Professional, which everyone has heard of. Like I have all the standard primers. Um, so yeah, this one, if you haven't used it before, is um, like very smooth when it comes out and it's also like tinted. Um, yeah, so just looks like that, just like smooth. Um, yeah, definitely like blurs. Um, so I'll show a picture of that so you can see. Okay, so this one is the Hourglass Mineral Primer. Um, this one, it doesn't specifically say like pore filling, I don't think. Maybe it does. It says distributed by Kingdom Animali Animalia LLC, which is, I don't know what that is, but it's not tested on animals, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, it's just the hourglass one and it's like, there's definitely like a white, um, it, it definitely shows up as white on your skin, but like not in a bad way, like it's, it just looks good. I, I like it. I don't know um, about like how it goes on other people's skin, but I really like it. It, it's, it does like brighten, um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. I really like it um so yeah so that's that and it's just like a creamy like buttery consistency last one that I have is the Too Faced Hangover RX um, which um, a lot of people use and to be honest, like, it's, it's not like a poor, when I think primer, I think like poor filling, like poor minimizing, and this doesn't really like minimize pores at all. It's just like a very moisturizing prep for your face, and it feels really good. Like, it feels really moisturizing. It's a little bit tacky, um, but not in like a disgusting way. You know, it's just like a little tacky. Um, it's like very hydrating, I feel like. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have that like pore filling mattifying consistency. This is like more of like a dewy sheen on the face. Um, so yeah, this is like good for just if your skin's feeling dry, like that's when I like to use it. I don't know. I feel like primers, like everyone's skin is so different. Um, But yeah, these are all of the primers that I have. Um, and some days I don't even use a primer. Like, I'm so in love with the L'Oreal, um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Like, obviously everyone is. Um, but yeah, like, this is great. Like, I, I am all for this. Like, sometimes I don't need a primer. Sometimes I don't even really need concealer. Like this is great and the shade is great it doesn't like get all weird on my skin throughout the day um it's like a yellow undertone brightens my skin i love it i'm wearing it right now like um underneath like obviously i have a highlight on Ugh. my phone keeps like running out of space and the video just stops and it's really annoying so i'm gonna do this really quick so like i was saying my highlight today is um the essence what is it called? Pure Nude Highlighter, uh, which I use with like a wet flat brush like this. Um, so I just like kind of just pat it on so I don't disrupt the, the foundation underneath. But I do wet it and I do just like kind of pat it on top to my cheeks. I love it. 
And what I also did today, which is new, is I've had this for a while. This was like, um, I got with my points from Ipsy and it's called face gloss and it's literally like a gloss for your face. Like I, I'm sure we've all heard about stuff like that. I think like Milk Cosmetics has something like that. Um, Sephora came out with like a palette with some kind of like glossy highlight. Um, so yeah, I definitely was like, I want to try like gloss on my face. Um, so yeah, when I first tried it, it kind of like disrupted my foundation and I was like, mm -mm, no, thank you. Um, I tend to stay away from like creams over my finished foundation and powder. It just doesn't work for me, but if I'm careful, um, like today when I wet this brush and mix it with the, the Essence highlighter, I kind of like mixed in with my fingers some of the space gloss and just patted it on and it gave it kind of like an extra like wet look and I really dig it. I do. Um, I'll show you what the face gloss looks like. It's like literally just like a gloss, you know? Like it looks like just like a clear, oh, where's the camera? Okay. It looks just like a clear, um, what the fuck? How do I zoom in? Excuse my language. Um, okay. I don't know how to work an iPhone. Okay. But it's just like a clear gloss. You get the idea. So I hope that my video was like useful to you.